Good morning. Yesterday we saw the Piske Halacha of Rabbi Yitzhak Mordechai HaKoin Rubin, who was of the view that when it comes to an Eirusin, a Seuda can be held, when it comes to a Bar Mitzvah, likewise, a Bres Mila, a Pidyon Aben, a Sheva Brachas, a Seuda, and all of those can be held. And in addition, we can sing, but the singing cannot be accompanied by music, be it live music or recorded music during the three-week period. In addition, uh, we also mentioned that dancing, even in the absence of the music, would be problematic with the possible exception of the Sheva Brachas, that maybe there is a basis to be lenient and to permit dancing, but again, not with the music accompaniment, simply singing but no musical instruments, be it live or recorded. Our question today is, how about singing out of the context of a su'udas mitzvah? Meaning we're not at a bar mitzvah or a bris or something like that, and we just want to sing and leave aside zmiras for Shabbos also. During the weekday, we just want to sing. Is that acceptable during the three-week period for an Ashkenazi or not? So Rav Rubin says that this is not very clear in the post scheme. This hasn't been exhaustively analyzed. And he says that there are, in fact a basis to argue each way. We could see, see a basis to permit, we can see a basis to prohibit. Nonetheless, he brings the opinions of two of the Gedoli Ador, the Stipler <coughs> Rav, who was of the view that the Minag is to be machmir on this during weekday. Shabbos is a different story, and if it's a Sudas Mitzvah, it's if it's a, a different story. But simply to be singing not in the context of a Sudas Mitzvah on a weekday, the Stipler said we should be machmir. And then he also brings the opinion of Shlomo Zalman Arbach, who was of the view that any song, any singing that would bring us to dance would be prohibited be it simply singing or with musical accompaniment. In other words, Me'ikardin, there could be a basis for some singing that's not going to lead us to, to dance. Om Nami continues, Shirim Shemuramimim et Adam, things, uh, songs that elevate us. It's not that it will bring us to dance, but they're simply emotional songs that inspire us, but we're not going to go dancing. Mutar Minadin would be fundamentally permitted. However, despite the fact that it's Me'ikar Adin permitted, Rosh Lomo Zaman Arbach said that nonetheless, Ro'oi Lihimana Gami is that we should, it would be preferred to avoid all types of singing, even if it's not going to lead us to dancing. So that's when it comes to simply singing during the weekday. That is the view of uh, the Baal Kilas Yaakov said we have to be machmir, the minigs to be machmir, and Rav Shlomo Zarman Achbach agreed. Mika Ardini says if it's going to get you to dance, don't do it for sure. And then if it's not going to get you to dance, it's simply inspiring Mika Ardini to be okay, but one should avoid it. When it comes to the next question of hearing recorded music, not live music, but recorded music, the minog, the clear minog of the olam of Ashkenazim is to be machmir, not to listen to music during the three-week period. The next question that is a question that's often asked is a cappello. Uh, what's a cappello? This is the uh, a choir, a group of people singing together, but without musical accompaniment. But it sounds like the, uh, the musical accompaniment. Many, it's very harmonious, and they're singing together, but there's no music accompanying it. Is that permitted or not? So Rav Rubin is of the view that the singing of a cappello is included in the minhag to be machmir, just like we don't hear recorded music. So too, he says, gam Bishmias Kalatos Im Shirim. So the same thing when hearing taped music, but it's songs that are simply vocal, but they are no there's no musical instrument, but it's meant to sound like it's real music, a cappello, in other words. He says the minag is to be machmir as well. When it comes to simply hearing a chazin singing, for example, you have a cassette and there's no music on it, but it's a chazin that is, is singing. He says, it could be that there's no iser hearing a chazin who is not accompanied by music. Nonetheless, he says, because this is really fundamentally a time of avelus, we should avoid hearing even simply a chazin singing and when it comes to the last issue of learning to sing taking voice lessons that should not be done as well during Bain HaMetzarim and even for young children he, Rav Rubin is also of the view that that should be, be avoided and Amir Chashem we will pick up on other halachas of the three weeks tomorrow have a wonderful day